So this is the Ophiclide, and the Ophiclide was one of the most used low brass instruments of the 19th century. It was invented around about 1850, and just like the modern day tuba, it often fulfills the bass function in the symphony orchestra or a band. The Ophiclide has a cup-shaped mouthpiece like any modern day brass instrument, and you make the sound with a buzz with your lips, but unlike a modern valved brass instrument, the Ophiclide has keys, so it's a hybrid instrument. The first valves were patented in the early 1820s, and until then, keys were one of the main ways of changing notes on brass instruments, along with slides and holes. The Ophiclide has a range of about three octaves, and really it was a follow-on instrument from its predecessor, the serpent. And in fact, Ophiclide comes from the two Greek words serpent and keys, Ophi, Clyde. So the sound on an Ophiclide can sound a little bit bassoon-like and a little bit tuba-like, depending on what range it's playing in. Composers such as Mendelssohn and Berlioz wrote extensively for the Ophiclide, and in fact, during Berlioz's lifetime, he wrote Symphony Fantastique parts, which included scoring notes for the Serpent, the Ophiclide, and eventually the Tuba. So we can see the instrument's evolution over the lifetime of one single composer. This particular Ophiclide was made by the French company Gautreau in around 1880. And we know, because it has a beautiful inscription, that its first owner was in Carinshaw in Scotland. It was eventually owned by the famous tuba player John Fletcher before I inherited it and now play it in many orchestras. So even though the Ophiclide was eventually replaced by the modern day tuba, many people carried on playing their Ophiclides into the 1900s. Certain wealthy gentlemen would play their Ophiclides as after dinner entertainment. And in fact, an Ophiclide solo competition was held where the prizes were modern tubers and euphoniums to finally get the Ophiclide to become extinct.